It's a normal well-being. It's a state of good health to maintain metabolism. It's a steady state. How about you as a student? How do you use homeostasis as a student? Come to class every day. Come to class every day. Study. 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 Eat right. Eat have, right. Have Eat right. Sleep. Sleep. Get a yes. sleep. How do you know that you're doing a good job in here? Great. Okay. So you take that test, you get that grade, you get that grade back, and you say, whoa, I got to study. Or, yeah, I'm getting it. So an example of that, taking it out of anatomy physiology, of homeostasis staying the same. So to be a good student and to stay at a constant, if you want to be a B student, stay at a B student level, you're going to have to keep your grades at a B level to maintain. Maybe you dip down on an assignment, so you're going to have to do really well on the next one. So you're staying in this circle of staying where you want to do. Exactly with the body, homeostasis. So we have, um, the, the, the key word for that is a feedback system. Okay, so in order for you to know as a student that you're getting good grades or that you're staying as a B, you need some type of a feedback system, some type of a circle that's going to let you know I'm doing okay. I'm doing what I need to be doing. Feedback system. We have two feedback systems in the body, a negative and a positive. Okay? And I've got a, a negative and a positive. So I'm going to define for you what each one of them mean, and then we're going to go through an example. 